Ernest Kumba here at the Gaza Media Headquarter. We have the opportunity to have one of our guests, uh, our former principal, Mr. Alemka Abafupo, uh, whom many of you will be excited to hear from him. Uh, we just want to invite him to give a shout out to his student. Uh, I think he was the third principal of uh, GSS Fontem at that time. It is now known as uh, GBHS Fontem. Uh, Mr. Alem Kapo, I'm happy to welcome you here in this platform. It's my pleasure, Ennis, to have you this yes. afternoon. <laughs> yes, Mr. Poe, can you just uh, maybe tell our, our students, our viewers, uh, what year you were the principal of uh, GSS for them at that time? Uh, we'll be calling it GHS for them interchangeably. It was in 1987 that okay. I was appointed principal of GSS Fontem. Before then, I had been a geology teacher in Kasban Bili for nine years. One of the things that I really want us to discuss is to foster uh, the Air student and uh, association. I know you have been so passionate. Uh, so let me just ask you, are you familiar with some of the activities that the Estland are doing? Have you watched um, some of them in the social media or on the Gaza media? Yes, I happen to come across the activities uh, of uh, the badge 8990 badge of GSS1 them. And I was so delighted. I think uh, they had the convention somewhere, I cannot remember, but I just came across it. Then I said, oh, so GP, GSS Fontem is now uh, operating in batches. So I was so impressed because I've been one of those longing to see the ex-students of GSS Fontem coming together. Uh, Mr. Alemka, I just want to get your own opinion. When we talk about batch by batch, what do you really conceive as a batch by batch? I think uh, batch by batch may be very effective because when you sit in the same class with the same person for five years or seven years, they, you are very close, and so you can work together. But then if, if you are talking with somebody who, who was about uh, five years ahead of you or five years behind you, you see, you see the thinking may not be the same. And so I think that idea of batch by batch is a good one. I'll give you an example. I am an ex-student of Sase College. We have Soban, Sase Ex-Students Association, Sase Old Boys Association. When it was formed, it was a national issue and it worked so well. But out of uh, just a few years ago, the class by class was more strong, was much, much stronger than the national. For example, we have our own batch of 1962, known as the Brothers of the Coast. I mean, we meet very regularly and our batch, we are doing better than the whole national issue. Even if there's a meeting in Sase, it doesn't much, uh, very much concern some of us. So I think the idea of batch by batch will work. I'm convinced it will work. <laughs> yes, Mr. Po, thank you so much. And actually, uh, uh, Gaza Media has actually covered, I think it's a 15 batch of GHS for them. They have their own convention, I believe it was this year in Limbe. And uh, as you already say, with the help of technology, uh, they are able to connect irrespective of where they are staying. Uh, now, uh, the convention is coming on for the entire uh, uh, grammar school uh, student, probably those that are in North America or in the US. And there is this uh, proposal that the, that the, the executive or is restructure 
as you are explaining, class by class, so that the executive should be formed within those various classes, so that we should have a national body which is only empowered by class by class, unlike geographical uh, location, like say uh, the Europe chapter, the Canadian chapter, or the US chapter. We should contrary go by the batch by batch. So my question to you is, from what you are explaining, which approach do you think will be effective? I think, you know, something must be started somewhere by somebody. A badge can take upon itself to invite those badges which are already functional. They meet at the convention as you are talking and there they can form what you call um, interim national executive. And their main job should be to encourage other batches to be active. And we give them the time frame to work on that. After that, they call representatives from the functional batches, maybe two each or five each, it depends. And then this delegation can meet and form what you call the national executive of the GBHS Quantum X Students Association. And in that case, it should be representative of all the functional batches. And in that type of meeting, there should be no discrimination. You don't send out somebody who comes from a different batch and is not yet functional. Give him the chance to learn because we assumed that he has come to learn how to organize his own or her own batch. And so if we do this, I think uh, we'll succeed. It's a, a wonderful suggestion. Uh, I believe, dear viewers, you are listening to our uh, former principal, Mr. Alem Kapo, giving this wonderful suggestion as we prepare to head to Columbus, Ohio in October come 22nd. Uh, we should be having this kind of conversation within us through different uh, media channel that we have available in so that when we get to Columbus, we should be able to really concretize some of this wonderful idea. Uh, Papo, I want to thank you for coming here, here at Gaza Media. Uh, let me give you an opportunity to maybe give a shout out, greet other former students, some of whom you didn't uh, govern them. Uh, and probably maybe they'll see you for your first time. Yes, um, I think um, GBHS Fontem, which was born out of GSS Fontem, they are one and the same thing, um, should be an example of a government school forming and a very effective functional association. Because in the past, most associations have been made up of boarding schools. And the reasons are obvious. Imagine you are in the same school with somebody from form one to form seven, as the case may be. You eat the same food, sleep in the same dormitory. So it makes you so close. And so their association could be very, very functional. So I would like the ex-students of GBHS for them to set a, an example to show the world that the government schools too can form an association of ex-students and it can work so well. There are so many advantages of having such an association. And the most important, you will always go back to your alma mater and let them know that you still, you are still alive. I think we should take this very serious and we should get serious people. It will not be easy. We need, we need patriotic people from the world go. We need patriotic people, people who are prepared to sacrifice 
that you have prepared to sacrifice financially, time-wise, and everything, so that when it, it's functional, you can knock your head as a lizard and said, yes, I was one of those who started it and we succeeded. That is great. That is more than any amount of money that you can get to start something and leave it as a legacy that we were the people who form it to me. All that achievement is more than any amount of money you can get. That's my humble <laughs> advice. Thank you so much. I was just listening to you. It was grateful, a grateful idea. Uh, I hope we'll find time, uh, maybe invite you here again. I know it's not easy. So you can always come in here and give this kind of wisdom advice to your student, to your fellow uh, student. I see I have one last word. Maybe you want to do something. Yes, yeah, I like have... to thank, I would like to thank those who started the Gaza media. Whenever I see it, I always want to tune to it. And I, I really praise the, the honors of the Gaza media. After this, I'll have to find out more about the Gaza media because I am now so involved. I'm so involved. And uh, I don't know, if you want anything from me as help for Gaza Media, I am ready to give you the help which I'm able to, to give you the support I'm able to. I'm very, I'm very happy about the Gaza Media. My own problem, which I know my friend here will tell me is to give me more information about the Gaza Media. I will not ask you about it. He will tell me and then but I want to assure you, I am at your disposal. And thank you for really inviting me to talk to Gaza Media. Yeah, it was our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, dear viewer, we have finally come to the end of this short segment. I uh, want to thank our former uh, principal, Mr. Alemka Abafu, for, for taking the time out to come here and talk to his fellow uh, stu uh, student. So again, uh, you stay tuned to Gaza Media. And do not forget to share our product uh, our production on youtube uh, click the like button and uh, leave a comment so that we know exactly how we are doing again i'm ns kuma Bye -bye thank you for, for inviting me thank yeah. you